Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Skyrim Special Edition. So, the time has come to join a side, and so we go to the Palace of the Kings, and we're going to join the Stormcloaks, and we're going to take on the Civil War, and unite all of Skyrim, I believe, under Ulfric's command. Vampires are still a problem. I think that Maybe is part of the DLC. Ooh, did I sell my weapon? That would be amazingly silly. Sonnetly, the Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. And what would you? Here's have? the guy. Hmm. Helga, now. Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. So. But first, tell me, why is a foreigner? want to fight for Skyrim. Skyrim is my home. I want to fight the Empire. I'll bleed for the chance to do so. Uh, can't fault anyone for that. As long as you hate the Empire as much as I do. That I can work with. And that's why I'm here. I want to join. Alright. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. I can handle anything you throw at me. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. What's Serpentstone Island? These men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. Interesting. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Okay. I'm off to kill the wraith. I'll be back we'll soon. We'll see about that, won't we? He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? So joining the storm folks is now our quest. Now, I suppose... We've probably locked ourselves out of a, a a quest line to join the Legion, but the story really has no reason whatsoever that you would join with the Empire. It's, it's silly. It's a, a silly idea. Let's see. There, I saw something on the map over here. Um, no, it's it's these down here that it's pointing to. I thought there might be... Let's see. Move our marker. And if mostly if I just run forward I think I'm fine. And this Snow Veil Sanctuary seems to be uncleared. Which I find that slightly strange too, but... If I'm gonna start trying to clear every single cave, there's probably 20 to 60 I haven't even found or done anything with. Like here we're about to approach a cave I haven't done anything with. Uh, now the difficulty on this one is just finding the way down. I don't want to fall to my death. And that's what's gonna happen, so we'll take a little jump this way and down this way. And where's Varkus when we need him? Oh well, we don't actually need him, do we? There's a horse and a horker. Who sees me? The Horker? The Horker's dead. Why am I taking his meat? I'll take that book. I'll take the tusks. Hmm. There you are. I'll take the gold. And here's a horse. Hmm. So it seems as if 
the guy may have just been driven off or killed. What's interesting is the pot here can be searched. I don't recall seeing a lot of that in the game before. There's also several treasure chests around cities. Like, because we heard about all of those. Are they marked on the quest lines? Let's see. Miscellaneous. Take the hidden treasure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing them mentioned anywhere. So maybe I would have to have listened to where the like hidden treasures were listed. See, no, that's that's going to be impossible to find, isn't it? Hmm. Here we go. I missed. Let's see, what's this cave? So we discover these caves and we know what they are or their name. The cave. Dark, dangerous. Yep, dark and dangerous. Not a goal now. I don't really have a reason to to kill horkers either. I, ah, I think my bow is out of charge. Finally. After a long, long time coming. So, let's see. Can I recharge my weapon? Um, only with this quest item. That's all I've got. Hmm. Next time I get a gem with a soul in it, I need to recharge my weapon. I probably have a bunch of empty gems that would be filling up if I had. Again, I feel like The Witcher 3 had the whole ocean idea in their head a little bit better. Maybe they implemented it horribly in the end, but you saw more boats, you saw more of the la lakes and rivers and oceans, uh, particularly in the Skellig Isles, that, that whole thing was was just one big ocean area with several uh, with several islands and there was more of a variety of creatures you were fighting not a ton more variety but there might be a very good argument to make why the, is it that the Witcher 3 isn't more improved having nearly five years since Skyrim to improve off that and that's probably a completely unfair comparison because The Witcher 3 was probably only looking at The Witcher 2 as far as what it was going to improve upon and, and learn from, which isn't exactly the right way to do that, but see, yep, little trick, if you look down at your feet, you will get more height. Why? I don't know, but I've seen it happen in lots of video games. Uh, maybe by looking at the your feet, you'll uh, darn it. Nice race the incense, dragon bone arrow. What's the serpent stone? Use range paralyzing points on opponents. Yeah. I, 
I don't think I would ever do that. Most of these stones are nowhere as useful as the the first three you found, and I've been using the first three for a long time now. I have 104 dragon bow and arrows. That's a slight concern. Not a mas massive one, though. Back to the palace we go. Now my goal here is to there are some that do as much and stronger than ever that they've made dawn so. I want to do as much of this quest line as possible these horses chasing a legend we don't even know it exists the yarls are upset they don't all support you damn the yarls they demand the moot they want the they moot. Damn the moot we should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's woman on the throne the moot is when they move the together plate. to to elect a new leader. Then, the crown would legitimize your claim. A crown doesn't make a king. So they're talking no, about our next quest. This one. If it even exists. It exists, and it will be the symbol of the righteousness of our cause. Think about it. A jagged crown. It heralds back to a time before yarls and moots. Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him and his people rose because they loved him. Boy, Sky that's a rough voice. That king. You will be that king, Ulfric. You must be. You're certain you found him. When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown. Sure. It will be there. You see. You're alive. I owe Lulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. They specifically programmed it to you. not stop that You're conversation. Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Sure. Hmm. Oath? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to sure. Yarl Ulfric Stormcloak, Whatever. future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. Sure, whatever. I'm ready to take the oath, who cares? That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us, a heroine of the people. A true daughter of Skyrim, a Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm, and true. Just I repeating what he's Skyrim. saying. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Sure. Even to my lord. As to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. Is this how all the Draugrs got created? They swore oaths and then they turned all into Draugrs the after they folks, died? The true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Hmm. Now, See, this is really us, dumb means you get because the character is not voiced. Trip with me. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. <laughs> Fur boots, stone cloak, curious fur gauntlets, and hide helmet. Hmm. Watch your. Hmm. Let's talk to him. What's the mission? I have found the final resting place of the jagged. We crown. failed to join the Imperial Can Legion, by the way. Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjul, but if Old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Okay. What's the Jagged Have Crown? I've heard that ancient verse. More unleashing rays of snow. Of dragons from the blue brought down. Birds the walking winter's woe. The High King in his Jagged Crown. 
Going way back to King Harald's time, or even before, the High King always wore the jagged crown. It was the symbol of his might and power. The crown mm. is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and it is said to contain a portion of the power of every king who has worn it. True or not, who would dare deny Ulfric's claim when the legendary jagged crown sits upon his brow? How do you know, lads? Let's not even bother to ask Go these things. Them. Because I don't care. And. So we failed to join the Imperials. And that, that means there is a whole set of quests here. That you couldn't play. Which is insane. It's really, really insane, isn't it? it it's just occurred to me. There could be like five, ten quests, only for Imperials, that we're not going to see. At best we can help you join the Imperial army and they send you to the same cave to do the same thing, which is here. So, um, here's a cave too. We'll just fast travel to that location. Hmm. <laughs> And I'm sitting here as we're doing all of this, and I'm just feeling very kind of unenthusiastic based on the fact of, oops, uh, I'm just unenthusiastic about how compartmentalized so many of these sections are. I don't know if that makes the most amount of sense or not, but there's just this doing the companions quest has no connection whatsoever to, to, to doing the the mages quest, which has no connection whatsoever to doing the thieves guilds quest, which has no connection whatsoever to doing the dark brotherhoods quest, and, and we're just this Eternal, infinite, uh, like, superhero to each of these characters. Oh, <laughs> this guy is fighting me. Uh, Shadow Mirror over here is fighting a mammoth. I didn't realize he would do that. Is there a dragon around here? Nope. And there's just like no reason for this. So turn this way and go here. I kind of hear a dragon, but I don't see it. Hey dragon, you want to come down here? Let me ask this question. Do I have dragon souls that I haven't unlocked? Yes, I do. Hmm. Come down here, dragon. Are you coming back? Or are you just flying away? Will that get his attention? No. Well, this is annoying. I'm not sure if, if I'm going the right direction or not. Something is here. But this could be one of those hidden treasures. Nope. It's the stone cloaks. Hail, Ilfil. Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd join up. Great news. It's the guy from Helgen. 120 hours together, ago. Eh? I'm glad I'll have you beside me in there. 
This place chills my blood. Maybe that's why the dragon went land, is he didn't want to uh, mess up this this cutscene. What are you talking about? These old ruins. My father always told me to stay away from them. Good advice, I'd say. But never mind all that. We've got a job to do, and nothing's going to stand in our way. Hmm. There's way What's too many situation? ruins. Cold as the inside of an ice rink. That and some way, way too many crypts in enemy. this world. Stay nice and warm around their fires. Imperials. Well, if they're keeping themselves comfortable, let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> What's the Legion doing here? Damn Imperial spies! Well, should be fun for us at least. They don't seem to know we're here yet. Ready to spill some Imperial blood for Skyrim? Sure. That's what I like to hear. So these quests in particular um, Listen up. are going to be more here by units Their versus units. Found out we know about the crown and they don't want us to have it. But they won't stand in our way. I know some of you are ex legion and they know men on the other side. But remember this, they are the enemy now, and they will not hesitate to kill you. Keep your wits about you, and watch your shield brothers back. Ulfric Stormcloak is counting on us to bring him back that crown. I'm just ignoring him. Another one. There's another one. Then this. And who else? Here's another one right there. Hmm. And I think these guys have got it. They just ran in here. And I don't want really anything except for his arrows and my arrows back. Gold. Arrow, arrow. There's a master gate. Easy enough to lockpick. And what's down here? Let's see this, 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 and this. Hmm. And I think these stone cokes had no trouble taking out the other people. They probably wouldn't have had any trouble taking out any of them. Cooked beef. I don't know if I've seen cooked beef before. Hmm. Gold. Take that arrow back. Take these arrows back. Salt. That. And steel arrow, steel arrow. I missed once over here, but trying to find that one dragon arrow is, is probably an insane waste of time. Although, arguably, you could argue that's this entire game. That's the way I like it. Short and bloody. Maybe they should take another five years to make the next Elder Scrolls game. Really? We had the advantage of surprise this time, but things won't be so easy from here on out. Enough talk. 
Let's go kill some Imperials. So I imagine exact same quest if we had chosen the Imperial side. It just he would have said enough talk. It would have been a different guy that said enough talk. Let's go kill some uh, Stormcloaks. So. What's really weird here is you probably could just leave them to their own. Pick a man and put him down. We attack on my signal. Time to show what you're really made of. Ready? For Skyrim. It's for Skyrim. The signal. Maybe I should just sit back and, you know, save my arrows. Just let these guys beat on everybody. Uh, it seems like it's a, probably a decent way to go about this. And again, this feels like a quest line that you probably should have played a little bit earlier in the game. Not level 55. And this whole area seems completely empty, which is strange for a cave, but whatever. We're, we're now part of a team instead of something else. This is barred from the other side. We're going to go full circle and end up back there. And am I so far behind now that that I'm just gonna run across a bunch of dead bodies and let the rest of Stormcloaks have all the glory? Very well, maybe the case. In all honesty, if I was in some kind of military group this is probably exactly what I would do hang out in behind and search chests and try not to I don't like the look of this perfect spot for an ambush 10 to 1 they're just waiting for us on the other side but there isn't any other way through And he keeps breaking up the people. I suppose this is a good system to potentially scare your opponents. Is make it seem like there's a booby trap set up so or make it make them go down many different paths so they have to split up. Although never split up I would say just stay together always there may be some way to get through on the level above hurry so he wants me to take the level above and I can comply with that I suppose is that really what the quest says no it says just retrieve the jagged crown Any booby traps? Torch sconce. Hmm. 
Let's see. Come on, you guys. Why I'm wasting bows on any of this, I don't know. come out of our sneak position and try to speed this process up. This just feels too much like a cutscene though. Now it's just like well they're gonna have me do all these different things for them. Let's see nothing there nothing there my arrows I missed a couple times nope wasn't gonna be that lucky light armor increased skeleton an empty chest interesting And we haven't seen any Draugrs show up yet. And they just came running in down there. So why they had me take the high road was just kind of a desperate attempt to, to make me feel more involved in something that I'm not really that involved in. Here. Another chest. Gold. This is kind of like an accelerated cave. Less things to search, less things to kill. Really keeping things smooth and quick by helping me out. Or just playing the game for me. That's pretty much all they're doing. I. You desperately need solo missions here. Even though you're supposed to be working with the other people, they need to give you special solo missions that only you do. Uh, because they just don't have a good system for working with a team in video games. And I don't think you're ever going to have a good system like that. Because if people want to play with a team, they want to play with real people, not... Uh, non-playable character AI I don't think it would even in the next decade we'd yet reach a point where players would say I wish I had AI players instead of my friends yeah I, I doubt that would ever happen at all but certainly not anytime soon Now what would be interesting is if I walk in here and everybody else is dead and it's, it becomes like a mystery of what happened or there's just this big monster. I don't need to take the butter. But they do, the Imperials do seem to have butter while the other people don't. Which is strange. Is it butter making a secret known only to to only two Imperials. Just sitting here ignoring it. And they just take forever. That's the end of that. They're all immortal companions. Pretty much. Or if they can die, it's gonna be scripted events. Um guys! Guys! How about we force some people out of the way? You guys are all stuck. Well, they all decided to... There we go. Of 
gold, great sword, ruined books, steel arrows, they, they all decided to stop and wait for me. The hall of stories, we must be getting close now. Oh, I've heard that's, of this. That's... They say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Interesting. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we done cover? So what these are the people that built these dragon the statues. Any show a crown. Hmm. Mm. Looks like. Hmm. This is as far as the Imperials got. And they died in this room. Which screams booby trap. Even if one of these pictures tells us where the crown is, I'm betting we're going to. And we need to look at the ebony claw, which this is claw number six that we've had. We found. Let's see, wolf, bird, uh, something. Man, I wish you could zoom in more. To find a way through that door. Wolf bird. That looks like some kind of yeah, wolf bird a bat. Oh, dragon. I what it used for. This should be it. Good job. All right, everyone. Keep your guard up. No telling what we'll find out here. Well, we kind of know there's going to be more missions with the Stormcloaks, so at least some of these people are going to survive. It, it's not... It's not going to turn into, like, a dragon's in there and it kills all of them. Let's spread out and see what we've got. Unblooded, do what Get ready for a fight. See if you can find some way to get that Don't stand open. there. You fools. You're all split up. And you're standing right there. And how's it going, unblooded? Did you find anything yet? They're calling me unblooded. Does that mean something like I haven't killed enough people in their minds? How's it going, unblooded? Did you find anything yet? Yeah, I'm gonna open this thing and drop you down it. And it I think that's the way the game wants the story to go. Alright, well there's a doorway this way. Let's go here. Keep looking on Got to get that thing open. Hmm. Orcish dagger. This. Taking the dagger. Did that open it? Now it opened the passage over here. Huh. All right. How's it going, on Did You find anything yet? Uh, secret passage. That's done it. All right, boys. Let's get Steady now. Let's just let him fight without me. You know what? Just save my arrows. I will come over here and empty the, all this out. Farkas can fight for me if he wants. There we go. I'm surprised this didn't open up and drop him down. That seemed pretty obvious. So one of the Stormcloak soldiers did die. Interesting. Almost feels like it's scripted though. Ooh, a gold ingot. I will definitely want to hold on to that. I have two things that need gold ingots actually. Uh, Th 
through this doorway. Wait, no, let's not go through that doorway yet. Let's go check out this secret passageway. Because we found that too. And then we didn't look in here. This is a lever. Oops. Well, I missed an opportunity to see this is just here in case you somehow got glitched through the wall or something. And it's an interesting that it's a toggle, so if you try to toggle it while it's doing something, you just toggle again. Uh, uh, wait, what, what, come on. Eyes adjust. <laughs> Find the path, eyes. I know you can do it. Don't look at the wall. Here we go. Now we can move forward to the grip. And he's got two storm cloaks with him. Maybe even three. Yeah, one falling behind. The crowd must be around here somewhere. Spread out. And keep your eyes open. Yeah, that's right. How about there? It's interesting, I can't hey, do anything. I found the crown over here on this corpse. Is this the one we're looking for? It's a death lord and he's not going down easy. Even with my dragon bone arrows, these guys are taking quite a quite a beating. Crown. Hmm. Get to Vindhelm with the crown as quick as can. Really Tell well Ulrich equipped guys. Drink. We'll stick around here for a while and see if we can find anything else useful. Nice. Little chest back here to lockpick. I missed playing the actual gameplay here like this. Uh, it's it's been a while. So much of the Dark Brotherhood stuff was just different enough that that it didn't feel like what we'd been doing up to that point. There you go. Learn a new word. Sand slow time. Interesting. That's probably one worth unlocking. Uh, just a good old fashioned walk through a cave, kill some bad guys. This one has been really simplistic, too. Uh, it almost feels like the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild quests should be played later on, somewhere around 120, 150 hours in gameplay. That way, you will hopefully be bored with the general loop of attacking creatures and doing all of that stuff. Maybe. Uh, so, I'm the one taking the crown back. It might be worth looking at what the crown does. I think it is. Let's see. Let's go look at the items. Apparel and where is it? The jagged crown is worth five thousand and has an armor of thirty-six. 
What does my glass helmet have? An armor of 80? Never mind, you can have your dumb crown for all I care. And now we go back to the... To the... Palace of Kings. And even though it says it, it's taking you to the Palace of Kings, you're still here, so you actually have to walk right into another loading screen. Good thing I have an SSD, otherwise that would be kind of annoying. In fact, I slightly remember it being rather annoying when I first played this game. I'm not sure why Talius is wasting his time trying to take Winterhold from us. But if he wants to throw his men away, I'll mm. gladly accept that gift. Here's the Jagged Crown. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? Uh, nothing. I couldn't happen. We lost a lot of good men. I hope it was worth it. The blood of our fallen heroes will make Skyrim free. Never doubt it. Also, never doubt me or Garmar. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of White Rod. Deliver this axe to Balkroth the Greater. An axe? Should I say anything to him? Men who understand each other often have no need for words. There are but a few simple truths behind one warrior giving another his axe. Balgruf will know my meaning. Hmm. Yes, an axe. How long have you been in Skyrim? Give the man my axe. If he <laughs> keeps it, I will bide my time. If he returns it to you, it means war. Okay. Understood. Your wits about you. The Jarl of White Rod is known for his temper. The stormcloaks are finding victory. So the now we have this other item that we need to give, which is Ulfric's war axe, which isn't actually that special. In fact, the special items only are special because they have uh, names on them and sometimes effects that you can't get otherwise, but it seems mostly they can even you can get better by just having your crafting and enchanting turned up. Let's see. Message to White Run. Here we go. So to Dragon Reach will fast travel immediately. Not even bother uh, with this. Now, it would be kind of strange if if I start a fight here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. First things first, let's talk to this guy. Divine spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. A whole bunch of these are needed. And then... A Daedric Mace. Ooh, I may not get rid of that just yet. Dwarven Mace, Ebony Sword, Ebony War Axe, Ebony War Hammer, Great Sword, Orcish Dagger, and Ulfric's Axe. I didn't sell Ulfric's Axe, did I? No, I didn't. Alright. And apparel. Sell these two. Sell this. And. Hmm. Let's see. Silver. Silver, silver, and hide shield and hide helmet. There we go. You know, if you now it's time to charge this thing with a greater soul, would probably be the best, and then a lesser soul. And then 
Bless us all. There we go. You should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. Charge my arrow up, my bow. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Let's see. Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Juventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun. As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Hmm. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irela. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. Nope. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. Hmm. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Oops. Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly then to accept the white gold concordat? Yes. This again. That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it. This isn't about gold. It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Hmm. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen. And the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes. To General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of his. So I assume here what would have happened is he would have sided with the Stormcloaks if I had joined the Imperial side. Because there was there's an achievement to to do a battle of Whiterun, and it's kind of a shame that I can't persuade him. Or if there was some way to persuade him that I wasn't given a clear enough path on how to do that. Because it would have been nice to just say, look, he trusts me, I'm a Stormcloak, he'll side with us, we don't have to do this big battle. Have been saying things of course. You, that you are the one that, well, they say the Dark Brotherhood, well, never mind. Apparently, my secret identity is out there. And having to hit A twice on these doors is not fun. Just one of the many glitches in this game that were not fixed in the special edition. They are going to come out with version 1.13. Or what is it? Uh, 1.2. Yeah, 1.3. And try and fix, like, a little things. But I don't think they're ever going to fix all the bugs that are known. Anywhere close. Let's start this battle, I guess. Empire's ravenous hunger for Skyrim mm. silver makes them fierce. But rest assured, we'll win the reach and wrest it from their greedy paws. Then I was wrong about him. It's a shame. Right, Dalmar. Again. I'm in no mood to joke. Give the word, my lord, and Whiterun is yours. Whiterun is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. So here's Whiterun 
and it's all Imperial. Is any man ever ready to give all of these head? over here are Imperial. That will mean the deaths of many. No. So we're gonna I try and turn them all to Stormcloaks. But you are that man, Wolfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. So it would have been easier to join the Empire. They call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the Is there a way I could interrupt this conversation? Skyrim has to offer, and they want this. They want this as hmm. much as you do. Perhaps now I have to just home. listen to another speech. You're certain we're ready. And see, this is probably what should have been the main story, but it's kind of the worst one. It's so bland and standard. Uh, just civil war. I'm hoping he gives me some kind of quest to... This is it. Yes. Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over White Rock. Hmm. I and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in White Rock. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling hmm. about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Okay. Fight well or die well. Talos be with you. Message to White Run completed. Battle for White Run begun. And I bet the Let's see. I bet the message to Whiterun, if you're playing as the Imperials, is almost exactly the same. And the battle for Whiterun is almost exactly the same, too. I bet it doesn't change too much. Whiterun military camp just shows up out of nowhere. That wasn't there before. And where is Whiterun? It, it has disappeared. White Watch Tower. Larissa's farm. Felgib's keep. White Run was right here, but they've taken it off the map for us. Alright. Because it's been despawned effectively. Uh, game? Uh, game? This is it, man! They say that our cause is false! So I'm seeing incredible flickering. I am floating in the air. We are craftsmen. We are sons and daughters of some people, maid servants and soldiers. I'm swimming. I'm swimming in in water. Wow. What in the world was that? How could the game just put me in a random water? This guy's... Look at him, he's, his AI is glitching like crazy. All of these guys are glitching like crazy. Can you just tell us to attack? Sounds like the audio is messing up too. Wow. So, I have no idea what any of that glitchiness was. That's amazing that that could possibly even happen. It makes no sense. Now, is a dragon gonna show up at some point here? Or are we just kind of running? Alright. There you go. 
go. What do we do? You wanna beat on this or do I have anything that that would break this? I, they're gonna break it for me. So I'm trying to open the drawbridge. Just kind of walking away around here. There you go. All these guards wasting my arrows. Let's see. So yeah, and when you're in this big time fight here, do you really want to take the break and take a break and go look and see if you can get your arrows back and and what else you can collect off the guy? There we go. That guy's got an arrow in him. For force him to surrender now seems like all the imperils are running inside the city and here's these guys the lucky warriors who aren't even supposed to be here we're just burning houses well and burning carts and all of this you know, this is probably just a real great place. Ah. Like, this would probably be a great point to... Uh, to improve my armor a little bit. But it's not really doing anything. Yeah. They're hitting me like yeah. crazy and... It's barely taking any damage. Like, I could practically just have walked here with killing nobody. This is an interesting idea, these... Uh, these barriers, but... They're never used again in the game, I bet. And... There's no great system around it. Ready to surrender? Damned if I let this rabble take my city without raising my own sword. Never Ready? Ready to surrender? Nope. Fine. No one here. No one here now. Enough. That's enough. I surrender. I surrender. Peace! Everyone stand down! That's an order! Stand mm. down! Not too bad. Dignar Greyme. Your family was noticeably absent from the walls. Now I know. Mm. Why? Wouldn't the dagger in the back have sufficed? Hmm. Look at this guy's face. It's cloth. Not anymore. And you, you have no place in White Run anymore. A convenient position to hold now. So this guy moves to be words, the new guy man. in charge. In the days to come, Ulfric will spread his rebellion thin. And what then? We need the Empire as much as it needs us. We Nords are the Empire. Our blood built it. Come on, music. Be quiet so we can listen. This was mine. I damned well pleased. You wish to 
see an empire without Talos? Without its soul? We should be fighting those witch elves, not bending knee to them. The Emperor is nothing more than a puppet of the Thalmor. Skyrim needs a High King who will fight for her. And Whiterun needs a Jarl who will do the same. Tell me, Vignar. Was all this worth it? I haven't How even many seen of this those guy. Corpses lining our streets wear the faces of men who once called you friend. What about their families? Enough, both of you. There is a burning city out there that needs a government. He's right. Galmar, come. Let us restore order. <sighs> this isn't over. You hear me, you old fool? This isn't over. And you, a storm cloak. I thought better of you. You'll all come to regret this day. Get over to Vendhelm. Tell Ulfric of our victory here. So that was the Battle for Whiterun. And now we've started the liberation of Skyrim. And... Let's see, we've got a lot of white run people dead. They will sing stories of this day. Hmm. Get over to Vendhelm. Tell Ulfric of our victory here. And so we may just have Stormcloak guards in White Run from now on. Or maybe everything will just be back to the way it was by the time I, I next time I fast travel to this area. This place is a mess. Quiet the mess. But kind of not. Kind of pointless also to wander around here and look. It's like little fires here and there, but most of the houses are completely untouched. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter. This way was totally blocked I'm off, by you, the I way. So now we go to Ulfric and let's get our reward and hopefully not be rewarded with another long speech. This could have been big ticket, interesting story to play if it was scripted into the storyline in the right place. Probably early on there, maybe right after Helgen even. Uh, Let's see. Apparently he's upstairs. Um, but the fact that I'm at level 55 right now and I'm so overpowered, I just kind of waltzed right through in there. In fact, I probably could have just waltzed right through there, the place. We've driven the Imperials out of White Run. Mm. This is good. Very good. We now control the center. It's a powerful position. One I aim to keep. Hmm. We'll call you Ice Veins now. For the thick blood of our land has seeped into your heart. Interesting. Here, take this. It's an Imperial Officer's sword. A fitting weapon to use against our enemy. What's the next move? I suspect move? you'll be of greater use to us with greater freedom. So you're free to engage the Imperials as you see fit. But I also want you to find our hidden camp in Valkyrie. Galmar will have special tasks for you, and will need you when we liberate the capital. Hmm. What exactly will I be doing out You'll there? You'll be doing whatever Galmar tells you to do, and causing as much mayhem as possible for the Empire and any Jarl who supports them. I guess I understand. So, our first thing is to liberate the Falkreath Hold, and where would that be? This is Falkreath, and where would the Falkreath Hold be? Can't fast travel from this location. That's a shame.
so I have to walk through not one but two loading screens to then fast travel to a new loading screen. Alright. And auto saving all the way through that, maybe. Hmm. Where is the Falkreath hold? Liberate the Falkreath hold. It says, this is Falkreath. And... The camp is gone and we're back to Whiterun. So let's just fast travel to Whiterun while we're doing anything. And everything's back to normal. Everything is completely back to normal. They fixed everything real fast. The only difference, I suppose, is if we find the guard, will they be a Stormcloak guard and who's sitting on the throne? Yeah, Stormcloak guards now. So that was probably the last opportunity we had. Let's, let's see what our carry weight is. We're up to 240 on carrying things so maybe I can get rid of a You're few things. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Have things changed much since the Stormcloaks are in charge? Well, not a great deal, no. Hmm. But I do less business than I used to. The Stormcloaks don't like buying from anyone that isn't a Nord. Ah, that's if a shame. If I wasn't married to Ulfberth, I'd be out of business. Hmm. Looking to protect yourself? So the story damage. changes a little bit. Iron, iron ore, leather, leather strips, and this Daedric mace, and Daedric sword of the inferno. We need to see if we can disenchant that. And then apparel. Fur boots, fur gauntlets, we don't need to hold on to those. Hide boots, imperial shield. I'll hold on to one of them, why not? This one, this one, that one. And do we have something of a low value I can sell? Maybe a potion. Probably have plenty of those to get rid of. Let's see. Yeah, I saw one of those for the Don't tomb. Don't check inside the oh. shop. The weird thing that's going on is the Falkreath Keep. Like, and the quest itself is a little weird. Let's see. Falkreath Stormcloak Camp. So they want me to go here and run around and take on some of these other forts. And if I continue down this path, I guess I would eventually run into all the forts. Like the Reach Stormcloak camp is probably going to have us just go take out this and uh, are there any other ones here? Let's see. There's a camp too. And are there any other camps? Doesn't feel like there is. Hmm. So the, it seems like there's only three, three locations that we would need to do. And what does it look like on our quests list here? See, quest lines completed four. So the Civil War quest line still has things to do. It, they're not going to finish it after four. Although it does kind of seem like they might as well have finished it after four because that was super simple. 
stuff going on there. And, hmm. and we're just, I guess, gonna have to work our way to the next location in the next recording. <laughs> After we do the Civil War quests, it's I either need to look up a solution to all the danger quests, which I don't really feel like doing. I, I, I'm just going to leave them because we've done seven so far. Maybe I can think of one more that we've missed. And I want to see if the game actually pushes me into this. As far as total quests we've done... We've done 76 of them, and 59 of them have been miscellaneous, and only 6 have been main quests, and 13 have been side quests. Uh, so most of the quests we've done in this game have just been pointless. They don't even integrate into the 5 separate stories of Companions, Winterhold, Mages, Thieves, Dark Brotherhood, Civil War, or the main story. So, six, seven games all combined here. It seems so strange. What's our stats look like? Nothing really big here. So, we'll do the Liberation of Skyrim, and then I guess we'll do Diplomatic Immunity and the Horn of Windcaller. It will hold for the last. And until we find this final shard, we can't finish this story. And unless we find the 15 other stones, which I don't think we're going to find, uh, we won't probably ever finish that. Then Dawn Guard is the DLC. Dragonborn is, I think, the main story. Or DLC, I'm not sure. And we have all these hidden treasure things that I can't activate them on the map, so I don't know how to find them. I, they are all somewhere near the cities that they mentioned, but I would have had to pay attention to what city they said and where they said that treasure was. So that those miscellaneous quests are, are probably doomed to always be there. Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me further, go to my main YouTube page. On the right, there's a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.